Hi everyone, it's me, Steve, with Mr. Jen All in One. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to keep your face clean. And keeping your face clean is extremely important because if you don't remove all the residue, your makeup, the dust on the skin, none of the serum, the moisturizer, the eye cream is going to work for your skin. So cleanse your skin is very, very important. And you need to ask yourself, how much time do you spend day and night to wash your face? If your answer is less than one minute, hmm, that's probably not clean enough. So average time to cleanse your face should be at least two to three minutes. And I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. And take time to cleanse your face that allow all the rest of skincare regimen to work better for your skin. Today, I'm going to focus on two different types of cleansing, um, cleansing product. One is a cleansing oil, such as this one. And we're going to talk about the cleansing foam. Okay. And um, why is it cleansing oils important? Guess what's this? Lipsticks. It's definitely not my colors because I don't wear this. But I want to show you that a lot of women wear lipsticks, right? So you wear the lipstick on your lips and after you know you wash your face, sometimes you're going to find that the lipstick still on the skin, on the lips after you rinse off the, um, the cleanser. So now you, that means you're not cleansing your skin properly. So typically, that if you do wear makeup and lipsticks, you need to use oil to help to remove the makeup first. So you want to put the oil on a cotton pad like this, okay? And then you want to place this on your lip. Just let it soak in for a couple minutes, maybe about 30 seconds. So the oil is going to break down the color of the lipstick and the wax in there. So it helps you remove the lipstick instantly. And oil also add as an um, eraser, basically. It will take away all the makeup on the skin inside the pores, too. And you might think, oh my god, oil is so thick and oily on my skin, and it's going to make me break out. Not necessary, because oil is actually lighter than water. So when you rinse it off this with water, everything disappears. So it will not clog the pores or make you break out. Just always remember that. So this is about 10 seconds now. Watch me, I'm, I'm just removing this. I haven't even massaged, okay? So I'm going to just lightly wipe this out. Ah, I did it wrong, but you can see it. See? Let me do one more tissue clean. See now, the lipstick is completely gone. You don't see it now, right? So that's how you're going to remove your lipstick. And if you want to remove your mascara, same thing. You want to put the oil on a cotton pad. Then you want to place the cotton pad around the eye area and press down the lashes for about 30 seconds. Then just gently wipe it out like this way. Don't try to do it this way because you're pulling the lashes really bad for you. So once again, for mascara, you want to put the oil on a cotton pad. Place on your eyelid on the lashes, 30 seconds. Take it out. Okay, same thing for the lips. Put oil on the cotton pad, out for the lipstick for 30 seconds, wipe it off. Then you can rinse it for a lot, a lot of water. So again, water will take away all the oil. After you use the oil to remove the makeup, you need a cleansing foam to remove um, any residue on the skin and give you a second clean the face. And this is going to make you feel very clean, very squeaky clean feeling. And I love about this cleanser, it actually has a um, uh, rose canina in there, so it's very refreshing. So I'm going to show you how I normally wash my face, okay? You need a little tool, a match bag here. So you want to put a match bag with water like that. And basically what you're going to do is you want to create a lot of foam. So you put, it's going to wet, you see that? Ta 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 ta! I feel I'm doing a kung fu video here right now. Then you're just going to put the uh, cleanser, not too much, just that much, that's all you need. Then you can just massage. So what happens is now you're creating a lot of foam to it. More foam you have, it's actually better for your skin. And why do you want to create foam right here? Imagine you're rubbing this on the skin to create foam. You actually torture your face. And as it is, we're fighting for gravity. Your skin's sagging already. The last thing you want to do is like doing this rough on the skin. So creating the foam on the matting, it will not um, make your skin stress out. And especially for some of you may have a sensitive skin, you don't want to be doing this on the face. So, yeah, a little bit more water. Okay, you can see, now you can see there's a lot of foam, right? Once you have the foam, you just squeeze the foam out of the match. 
ta-da, it's like making whipped cream. So basically, oh my god, look at this, it's a mess. Okay, so this is your phone right here. So how are you going to wash your face? You basically want to take the phone, you see that it doesn't even fall down. So you want to put the phone on the clean face, on the cheek, on the forehead, on both sides like that. Okay, and you just want to let it massage. And when you massage this way, it's a very, very gentle. And try not to, you really want to make sure the phone is covering your entire skin. Okay? And that will take away all the impurity beneath the skin, clog the pores. I mean, not beneath the skin, clog the pores. So it makes your skin very clean, very, very uh, refreshing. See? After you do that, water to just rinse this off. I just want to show you before and after on my hand with a clean hand. It's a pretty clean. You can see for yourself. Okay. So I want to show you this hand. I just cleaned it, and this hand I have cleaned this. Can you see it? You see how smooth the skin is here? And look at I haven't cleaned my hand here. So that's what you want to do. You can see it like that too. Okay. So. After you clean the face with you know the oil, remove the makeup, and a foaming cleanser to clean the face, the one last step you want to do is the toner. So what exactly is toner do for your skin? Well, originally toner is to designed to remove residue from the water because water contains chlorine and all different stuff in there to keep the water clean. So the purpose of a toner is to remove those um impurity in the water. But technology is really good right now. So a lot of companies they put different ingredients in the toner and do more than one thing. So for example this this toner is called Clear Lotion from SK2. It blended with beta hydroxy acid. So what it does is work on exfoliate surface of the skin like that. It takes away all the impurity. Anything that for some reason you did not clean them properly from the uh, cleansing, this is it's like a second second clean. Okay, so why am I clean my hand? Duh! Okay, I was gonna do it on my face, I'll show you. So you wanna use always use cotton pad. Okay. Saturate the cotton pad like this. Then this is how you wanna do it. Okay. You just wanna start on the forehead, just go this way very gently around the side like that. And why are you going towards upward towards because again you make sure your skin go tighter and firmer and lifting. If you're going downward, you're actually gonna help your skin sag in more. Okay. Once you do on this side, you turn this around and then do it repeatedly like this. The reason why you turn around the cotton pad so you don't bring the dirty stuff on this side to this side. And that's what you do. Very, very simple. And now you can see my hand. I just clean my hand with a toner. You can, I think you can see it. This hand is very bright, very smooth, and this hand is not bad, but it's not as bright as it's smooth. So do a proper cleansing, make your skin look better. See the difference? Okay. So let's do a quick recap here right now. If you wear makeup and lipstick, you need to use cleansing oil. Once again, oil remove residue, remove makeup, remove mascara. Um, it is very heavy, but they are lighter than water. So once you rinse off the water, all the oil will disappear. And you want to follow by the cleansing foam. And always make sure that you create a lot of foam in your hand first. If you can use your hand like that, or can use the mesh tool like I showed on the video. Once you create a foam, place the foam on a different area and gently massage for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then rinse it off with warm water. Then you finish with the toner. And once again, toner is remove residue and keep your clean keep your face clean and fresh. Then you can follow by the next step you want to do. And I hope you enjoyed my how to cleanse your face video. And please make sure that you subscribe my video and like my video and share my video on your Facebook. And uh, if you have any question you want to ask me related to skincare, feel free to leave a comment on my YouTube page and I'll be more than happy to do a video and explain it to you. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.